Happy New Year's, listeners. It's 2019, and change is in the air. Change of the year. Change of the seasons. Change in our spirits now that the holidays are behind us and the long, cold winter is before us. A lot has changed here at Nerd Noise Manor as well, with a six-month-old in the house, making this a four-player game, and all the joys and challenges that comes along with it. The biggest one being a radical change in the amount of free time and the prioritization thereof. As such, change is in the air for Nerd Noise Radio as well. First is that our annual output of all new Channel One content will drop from 20 episodes to 10. But that also means that they won't have the same kind of length constraints on them as before, so they will be generally longer episodes now, about the length of the episodes we used to call supersized episodes. Now this doesn't mean that they will always be long. There may be an occasional shorty here and there, but on balance the episodes will be longer. I also don't believe that there will be any Scene Sunday episodes on Channel One this year, but I don't believe that'll be a permanent change. The arrival of the baby and my decision to pair back from 20 to 10 both came after work had already begun on calendar 2019, which was heavy on theme episodes that involved collaborating with other people. What was just the right amount of theme episodes for a 20 episode year became a very theme heavy year for a 10 episode year. And since it was so collaboration heavy, I didn't want to punt any of them to 2020. So scene and soundtrack episodes are what took the hit. However, I do anticipate there being at least one soundtrack episode this year. I will also probably release a few additional soundtracks now and then over on Channel F, just as a supplemental. I have at least one such thing planned for sometime this year already, and maybe as many as two or three or four. As a result, starting in 2020, I may begin de-emphasizing soundtrack episodes on the main channel, but we'll cross and maybe burn that bridge when we get there. In either case, be on the lookout for some soundtracks on F. By the way, channel F will be what it's always been. It'll just release whenever, no set schedule, maybe virtually nothing from F in a given year, maybe a ton of stuff from F. I do know that in the wake of face-off episodes, there will always be a burst from F featuring people's picks, But otherwise, depending on baby, family life, my willpower, laziness ratio, and a whole host of other factors, Channel F may be very active or mostly dormant. So we'll all find out together. Now, I can hear the wheels of cold, hard math turning in all your heads right now. But wait, one new Channel 1 episode each month, 12 months in a year, well then why only 10 episodes? What about the other two? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me answer that question the roundabout way by telling you about my next major announcement. First, a little history, which most of you probably already know. Previously, I had the Nerd Noise Radio Network All Channels Feed, which, is the, as the name suggested, would feature anything put out by Nerd Noise Radio, be that our bread and butter, quote unquote, regular episode, Nerd Noise Radio Channel 1, whatever content came out through our betas and bonuses side channel, Nerd Noise Radio Channel F, and any new future programs, aka channels, that Nerd Noise Radio might launch. 
And then on top of this, I had a separate feed that was strictly dedicated just to the main program. And the name of that feed was, unsurprisingly, Nerd Noise Radio Channel 1. Well, the All Channels feed was through a hosting service that I pay for on a monthly basis via Podbean. So it's relatively hi-fi, is in stereo, has no upload or download limits, and content never expires. Up to something crazy that I'll never ever hit, like 500 episodes. But the Channel 1 feed was a free hosting service through Buzzsprout. And as a free service, it came with some very significant limitations. It was lo-fi and mono, so it sounded like AM radio. Content expired after 90 days. And perhaps most significant of all, there was an upload limit. I was limited to a grand total of two hours of content each month, with maybe a minute or so grace wiggle room baked in. Therefore, I had to limit my episodes to a grand total of two hours per month, be that two regular episodes sharing that time, or a single supersized episode getting the whole thing to itself. I couldn't cross two hours. And that also means that unless I wanted to go to the hassle of creating two completely different versions of a single episode, one for each feed, the All Channels feed was effectively saddled with the same limitations. This also means that the two feeds were redundant in terms of Channel 1 content. But the reason I did this is because I envisioned Channel 2 launching very quickly thereafter, and the two being different enough that a listener may want to follow the one without being made to follow the other as well. So in addition to the catch-all hub feed, kind of the main feed, I wanted to have a separate distinct feed for each program I produced. A neat idea, maybe, but also so unwise, as it doubled my workload for episodes and management, split the listener pool in half, and created a lot of confusion. You know, what feed am I supposed to be listening to? Should it be this one? Should it be this one? A lot of people flocked to the Channel 1 feed because that's what the name of the show was. And it was all for naught, as Channel 2 has still not materialized, nor may it materialize anytime soon in light of the new baby situation. Although, I do have something else uh, much less ambitious, uh, much more imminent, and much more certain involving my 11-year-old daughter, Chloe, and I do still expect that to happen this year, so be on the lookout for that. So anyway, now I'm doing what I need to do to fix the, the feed situation. The Channel 1 feed isn't altogether going away, but its purpose is completely changing. Effective immediately, what used to be the Channel 1 feed will now be a dedicated feed just to reruns. Once a month, I'll pick an episode from our backlog and share it anew. This will lean very heavily towards the Channel 1 backlog, but will also include Channel F outings assuming they were two hours long or shorter. Because since this is not an all-new feed but just a repurposing of the same old Buzzsprout feed, it still has that same two-hour cap, and I don't at this time envision ever retooling a rerun that doesn't fit to make it fit. This feed will now be renamed Nerd Noise Radio Reruns. And yes, this means that there will be no more all-new content on this feed anymore, other than special announcements and any prefaces I decide to tack on to the front of a rerun episode, such as this one, in the case of special circumstances. I'll probably do that to each rerun for the first few months or so anyway, just to make sure that people who missed this message catch it on the next one or the next one. <clears throat> but then after that, I think I will only do tack-ons at the front of reruns if there are really special circumstances that call for it. Now, uh, there was, and some a few of you might know about this, there was a dedicated Channel F feed out there too, um, but it fell out of use pretty much right away when so much of the Channel F content was exceeding the two hours. And I also ran into problems with um, Google Play, getting it on Google Play. But the Channel 1 feed, sorry, the feed formerly known as Channel 1, will live on, but merely as an ongoing 12-year rerun station. I generally won't produce YouTube videos for these reruns, even for the ones that do end up getting simulcast onto the main feed. But for this first one, I will produce a YouTube video, just as a way to get these special announcements delivered to that audience as well. So to the YouTube listeners, if there's a month now and then where there's no new Channel 1 content for me, it's very unlikely that I died, got incarcerated, or just rage quit. It's probably just a month where we're doing a rerun instead, and there will be a new one very soon. Which, at long last, leads me to finally answer the question of how we're going to deal with there only being 10 all-new Channel 1 episodes a year, but still some kind of content in all 12 months. Well, on the two months a year where there is no new Channel 1 content, the All Channels feed, which will simply be re which will also 
be renamed simply to Nerd Noise Radio, will simply simulcast what's happening on the reruns channel for that month. So two months a year, both channels will be playing the same thing. This year, the rerun months will be this month, January, and then again in July. At this point, I envision the months will change from year to year, but don't hold me to that. So I guess you could say that our channel one 2019 season, season three, doesn't truly begin then until next month in February. Well, fair enough. It'll be a good season, though. Though there will only be 10 episodes, there will be more guest contributors and collaborators than has ever been in the entire history of Nerd Noise Radio combined. In fact, about half of this year's coming content will be made by, or at least in partnership, with someone else. We're even going to have ourselves our first ever miniseries at some point this year on a subject very near and dear to me that I will keep a secret for now. But between the Channel 1 episode proper and not one but two Channel F supplemental bonus episodes on the subject, we'll be looking at a combined total of 130 tracks and a combined five and a quarter hours of awesome music. And that miniseries will feature a collaborator as well who himself contributed about 40 of those tracks, the majority of which are slated to grace the Channel 1 episode proper. I'm more of just a sidekick on that one. The bonuses will be more in my territory. So I'm very excited to share that with you and we'll be able to reveal more on that later. <clears throat> so, that's the new shape of Nerd Noise Radio for 2019 going forward. I hope you'll stick around for the wild ride it's promising to be. And for those of you who are subscribed to the old Channel 1 feed, I hope that you'll not just up and leave. Instead, I hope you will, at the very least, subscribe to the actual Nerd Noise Radio feed and continue the journey with us over there. <clears throat> the sound quality is better anyway. But even better yet would be if you also stay subscribed to the old feed and soak up all the old rerunny goodness as well. And to those on the main feed, uh, the same offer is extended in the opposite direction. If you want to relive some of the glory days of the show, go hunt down the reruns channel and sub to it too. I'll keep the rerun channel open until strong enough feedback steers me otherwise, or until listenership drops past a certain threshold. But I'll keep it open at the very least through 2020 regardless. So... To kick off our rerun channel, calendar 2019, and to prelude the official start of season three next month, <clears throat> it only makes sense to me to start all the way back at the very beginning. Presented unmodified, other than this preface being tacked on, is none other than episode one, C er, also known as C1E1, as in channel one, episode one, a loving nod to the doom level naming scheme, such as E1M1, episode one, mission one. This episode originally premiered on Thursday, January 5th, 2017, but was produced even earlier, all the way back in October 2016. This episode is a theme episode, and the theme is title screen and opening music, which I felt, and still feel, was a brilliant subject for kicking off an all-new show. In honor of both, the episode is aptly titled, Press Start. The production quality of the music block itself, other than being in mono, is not remarkably different than the production quality of even my latest works. But the production quality values of the intro and outro are atrocious. I keep blowing out the mic, and the music is too loud, and all the rest. It's just a nightmare. All of my first ten episodes are this way, and I no doubt will disavow this aspect of the show in a tacked-on prelude before each and every one I share. Episodes 11 through 20 are much better, but still not as good as 20 one and beyond, which has been our sort of standard production value. Uh, it also wasn't until episode 21 that we gave Channel 1 its official name, Noise from the Hearts of Nerds, which is a loving nod to NPR's Hearts of Space, the program from which our show is inspired, and to which my show is designed to be a love letter. Hearts of Space's original name was Music from the Hearts of Space, so the tribute in the name is actually even more blatant than it first appears. So without further ado, I present to you Nerd Noise Radio, C1E1, Press Start. I hope you enjoy it if you've never heard it before, and I, I hope you still enjoy it if you have. I also hope it will showcase not only just how far the show has grown and progressed in the time between, but also just how true to its original roots it has remained. Thank you for hanging with me through this lengthy prelude and cheerfully tolerating all the changes to the program this year will bring. I really think you're in for a treat with this year's new content, so sit back and relax and enjoy. And wherever you are, fly the N. 
You know, I do this so often, you would think I do this on purpose, but I really don't. I keep forgetting stuff. So, P.S., the music in the background for this tack-on is Temple of Time from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time on the N64, composed by Koji Kondo. I don't know if I'm going to use this music for every tack-on that I do in front of a, a rerun, or if I'm going to use a different track each time. But if I do use a different track, it'll always be something that has some connection to time or the past or, you know, history or something like that. It'll always be something with that kind of theme. So, you know, we'll see. Okay, now, on to our program. Radio Channel 1, a program of the Nerd Noise Radio Network. Today's broadcast is Episode 1 for Theme Thursday, January 5th, 2017. Today's theme is title screen music on a program we're calling Press Start. Sit back, relax, as we bring you 42 minutes and 14 seconds of the best noise. Feel free to follow along in the show notes, and we'll be back at the end with track listing and show info.
to Nerd Noise Radio, Channel 1. You just heard episode C1E1. Press start. We began our program with Sonic 3 on the Sega Genesis, composed by Tomonori Sawada. 
Next we had Double Dragon on the NES, composed and arranged by Katsunaka Yamane. Metroid, the Famicom Disk System version, composed by Hirokazu Hiptanaka. Crash Bandicoot on the PS1, composed by Josh Mansell. Spider-Man X-Men on the Super Nintendo, composed by Tim and Jeff Fallen. Halo on the Xbox, composed by Martin O'Donnell. Ballblazer for the Atari 8-bit computer system, composed by Peter Langston via his Riffology algorithmically generated computer music composition program. Doom 2016 for multiple platforms, composed by Mick Gordon. In the thick of it, we have Street Fighter 2 on the arcade, composed by Yoko Shimomura. Summer Assault on the TurboGrafx-16, composed by Hidehiko Aoki and Katsuyuki Inose. Zelda 2, the Famicom Disk System version, composed by Akito Nakatsuka. LED Storm on the ZX Spectrum, composed by Tim Fallen. Streets of Rage on the Sega Genesis, composed by Yuzo Koshiro. Mega Man 2 on the NES, composed by Takashi Tateishi. Shovel Knight for multiple platforms, composed by Jake Kaufman. Ocarina of Time on the N64, composed by Koji Kondo. Revenge of Shinobi, the PC-88 version using the Yamaha YM2608 OPN-A FM synthesis chip, composed by Yuzo Koshiro. Golden Axe, the C64 version, composed by Yu Takada and arranged by Yurun Tell. To round things out, we have Final Fantasy VII on the PS1, composed by Nobuo Uematsu. Bonk's Revenge on the TurboGrafx-16, composed by Hidehiko Takayama. Wolf Child on the Amiga, composed by Martin Iveson. Kirby's Dreamland on the Game Boy, composed by Jun Ishikawa. X-Men on the Arcade, composed by Junya Nakano. Mortal Kombat for the Sega Genesis, composed by Matt Furness. Black Belt on the Master System, composed by Katsuhiro Hayashi. Zybots in the arcade, composed by Hal Cannon, Brad Fuller, and or Earl Vickers. And our final track of the day, is Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo, composed by Koji Kondo. Our intro and outro music is Funky Radio on the Sega Dreamcast, composed by B.B. Wrights. You can find track listings and program info for all of our episodes, as well as video game-related articles on our blog at nerdnoiseradio.blogspot.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And you can reach us anytime by email at nerdnoiseradio at gmail.com. Nerd Noise Radio is also available on the Retro Junkies Network. If you like what you hear, please leave us a review on iTunes and Google Play Music, and we will soon be coming to other services as well. Or just reach out to us on our social media or email. Your feedback is immensely valuable to us, and we would love to hear it. This is Nerd Noise Radio Channel 1, a program of the Nerd Noise Radio Network. Your home for the best noises from the YM2612, 76489, SPC700, 2A03, HUC6280, AY38910, YM2151, LR35902, Pokey, Paula, Sid, and beyond. I'm John Wedgworth. Thanks for listening. Join us for our next broadcast. And wherever you are, fly the end.